Hi everybody, I'm Stefan for phototouchpost.com and in today's quick tip I'm going to show you a very cool and easy technique for selective contrast in Photoshop that will help you enhance your images and add a feeling of volume to your subject and as well avoid uh, saturating your image when you increase the contrast because as you know let me show you if we create a adjustment layer with curves and if we increase the contrast you can see that uh, this increases the saturation of the colors as well you can see the green here how it increases so the first tip that I'm going to give you is when you select your layer with color adjustment and always use uh, adjustment layers and don't apply your adjustments to your main layer because that way you can always come back and tweak them you can select the layer and change the blending mode from normal to luminosity and this is going to uh, remove the saturation of the image and still increase the contrast and if we take a look here at this part of the image let's change it back to normal you can see how this affects the image so that's one thing to remember let's change this to normal and let's rename this one to bright and remove this point here and increase the brightness like that and let's duplicate the layer and let's name it to dark and let's increase the let's turn off the bright one so we can see the actual effect of the dark layer and let's set this to 25% or 35 so we can see it better and we need to select the first layer and apply a layer mask and we need to hit Control i to invert the layer mask select the second layer apply a layer mask again and hit Control i again to invert it that way we don't affect the image with those two layers now we need to select our brush tool and set the opacity to 25% or whatever you want I prefer to work with that number and using a white color for a foreground color we can select the dark layer and select the layer mask here and we can just start painting to darken the background and the parts of the image that we want to darken and you can see how this affects our image and I want to make this here to pop out so let's just darken the background here and select the bright one and let's start painting right here like that and let's select the dark one and we can and we can add a bit of dark here so you can see how it starts uh, it gives a feeling of volume here and makes it more three-dimensional you can use it to enhance your images you can be very selective and just brighten a certain areas of your image like so if you want to make this pop out even more but the problem is that when we brighten the green here uh, it starts to look more vivid and more saturated so that's why we are going to change the blending more to luminosity for both layers and this is going to solve this problem and avoid having uh, saturating the image because uh, we need to create a hue and saturation or other type of uh, color adjustment layer to reduce the saturation of the image so if you feel 
that you want it to be more desaturated you can uh, make further adjustment and desaturate it but if you like the overall look of your image but you want only to increase the contrast without changing the color saturation you can use uh, definitely that way to do it and if you want to do further adjustment for example you can add a curves and you want to create a overall contrast adjustment you can change the blending mode to luminosity as well and turn on the saturation layer and just play with the saturation maybe some of you like more saturated images or more desaturated and if you take a look here at this part if I increase the saturation you can see that we are starting to lose detail here in the, in the bright parts of the image and if we decrease it you see more of this detail so you have to be very careful and actually I prefer to reduce the saturation just a touch and maybe reduce the overall whiteness just a touch and you can play with the hue to give it uh, a bluish or like a warm tint it's up to your taste I prefer to add just a bit of a blue tint to the image and that's uh, my way for selective contrast adjustment so hope you like this quick tip and find it useful once again I'm Stefan for phototouchpost.com and we'll see you next time